Hey guys, if you're a fan of BMW, you're gonna love this video because we have it first. It's the brand spanking new 2 Series BMW, Tommy, right behind me. Show it to him. That's right, check this out. This is the all new 2 Series Coupe. And in this video, we are going to tell you everything you need to know about the 2 Series from a design perspective, an engineering perspective, a comfort perspective, and tell you whether or not you should buy one. And at the end, what are we gonna do? We're gonna show them the coolest feature that I think is, I've seen it never before on a BMW. So first time I've seen this on the BMW and we'll show it to you at the end of this video, but this is no ordinary BMW 2 Series, is it Tommy? No, so what you're looking at here is the BMW M240i. So there are two models of the new 2 Series. There is a 230, which is a four cylinder and the M240, which is the big old six cylinder. And wait till you hear the power and performance numbers on this engine. Lift it up, dad. One, two, three okay so it may not be much to look at but this is an inline six engine of course with a turbo 382 horsepower zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds according to bmw all-wheel drive with an eight speed auto yeah and tommy there is one feature of this car that uh shall i say is missing and i think a lot of people will really find interesting what is that well get this guys i'll give you a hint this is a brand new bmw and it's got normal sized kidney grills what a concept so so many of the new cars like the new three and the new four series have the monster kidney grills that extend the entire upright uh height of the front fascia but the new two series they look normal and it's a fantastic looking car now keep in mind this is not the front wheel drive based uh transverse engine two series this is the full-on two series coupe yeah now the m2 tommy the previous generation now that we've got the new one was my favorite bmw of all time it held that kind of bmw spirit that represents what a bmw should be which is of course a sexy design that covers an incredibly powerful engine and has dynamic driving performance. Now, I love the fact that this car, at least from a design standpoint, says fast, sexy, and fun. Yeah, I think that it really is a handsome car. So when you get past the normal size grills, of course, being the M240i, we do have a fairly aggressive uh, front end treatment here with the lower front fascia. I love these super angular headlights. They look fantastic. The overall side profile, quite simple. You've got one continuous line that extends the length of the car with, of course, little iconic BMW kink toward the rear. This is white on black too. So you have this nice contrast here. Just a phenomenal looking car. We're running on 19 inch wheels on this model with the BMW M brakes and oh it's awesome and now we have come to the part of the video that I enjoy the most which is of course Tommy this yeah the exhaust That's right I'll do it uh, shall I engage sport mode I think you shall this right. is of course a dual exhaust outlet set of vehicle straight six let's see what it sounds like bring the mic up close here all right sport mode engaged Oh, that does sound very iconic BMW. Oh, he did something. <laughs> what was that? Why was it so quiet the first time? The was that normal mode yeah, the first normal time? Yeah, normal and then sport. Oh, I, I said sport mode the first time, oh, no, and then no. you blew out my eardrums. Yeah, 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 no, of course. I was going to give you the before and after I engaged oh. sport mode. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. So sport mode does a big difference in terms of the exhaust sound. All right, Joe, um, shall, shall you try to get in the back seat? No, or shall I? I think you shall. Uh, that, Tommy, you know, my mom, your grandma, right, likes to call me um, thick. Yeah, thick. Uh, so am I really the one to be getting back there? for YouTube entertainment, I think that's the answer. Right. So good news for you though, Dad, the new two series is 4.3 inches longer and 2.6 inches wider than the old one. And it's got three cubic feet more passenger volume. And an electric uh, chair that gets out of the way. So let me uh, see, let me get back here. Oh, my. All right, this is turning very X-rated, X-rated. All right, we're back. All right, I'm, I'm, as, as you know, a thick but tall person, I would say headroom is certainly challenging. And uh, watch my knee here, Tommy. Yeah, uh, you want to you, uh, stop? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting behind myself. So even though I am, like I say, or like my mom says thick, at least I'm tall. All right, then. I'm stuck, help me. 
You got it. I'm stuck. You're good. All right, so I am going to walk around to this side of the car so we don't get flashed again and talk about the door handles because I think that's more interesting than watching my dad get unstuck. So the door handles are flush mounted on the new 2 Series. Very long, but actually quite skinny. You pull out on them, of course, an electronic door handle with a frameless window. And now we can dive into the interior. Literally dive into the interior. Yes. Well, let's, uh, let's close these windows and turn the car on and talk about the interior. So I love kind of this uh, burgundy interior. I think it really does set off the white exterior really well. Uh, but uh, this is starting to look a little bit dated, right? I've seen this a lot, this kind of layout with the real buttons and then these kind of haptic, I guess you'd call them, uh, buttons. Um, so I love the steering wheel. You know, nowadays with the competitors going to much more digital displays. This is feeling a little bit dated to me. Depending on the trim, some cars have analog uh, dials, some have the digital. This one, of course, full digital. I do agree with you, Dad. The overall layout in the middle feels more old school BMW than some of the latest models. It does, of course, have the iDrive system, which uh, controls the main info screen, or you can go ahead and touch on it manually as well. But the quality of materials, though, feels really nice in here. So it's all very well screwed together. Um, I do like the silver accents throughout. Not a big fan of the piano black on this model. Should we Look at the price. Do you want to yeah. dive into that? Yeah, let's look at the, 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 the sticker, Tommy. So, uh, 26 MPG combined is certainly respectable for a you know performance car, uh, but that's a, you know it's a big number, 57,295 uh, as tested for this particular one. We've got things like the Showline package, the M Shadow Lights extended shadow trim, which is a $2,750 option, uh, and then of course we also have the uh, uh, let's see here the Takora Red Vamesca Leather, Tommy. That's a $1,500 package. That's a, that's a mouthful. Tacoma Red Vernesca Leather. Now, the base M240i starts at about $49,000. Uh, the base 2 Series, the 230, starts at thirty seven. dollars And currently, all of the M240i's have all-wheel drive, and all of the 230's have rear-wheel drive. But apparently, that's going to change down the road. Show my favorite feature, which is kind of that classic M color. Oh, yeah, the tricolor on the speaker grill. Yeah. Is that a speaker grill or is it? No, the speaker grill's here. That's just a, a piece of trim. That's very cool though. I do like that a lot. Yeah, I mean, the it's very, if you're familiar with current BMWs, I think that this is going to be quite, quite familiar to you and it's going to make a lot of sense very quickly. Uh, you want to open up the sunshade? Uh, sure, I'll give it, a, give it a shot. There you go. Nope, it opened up the window. There um, you have it. There you have it. Yep, that's so, lighted. So um, also going to be optional depending on the trim is that glass roof. Look, I think that on the outside, it's pretty revolutionary. On the inside, I think it's pretty evolutionary. That's kind of my perspective on this car. It does have the beautiful fat M steering wheel though with the paddle shifters. Yes, and you know, we promised them the coolest feature. So you want to go and show them? Oh yes. Yeah, something, I will turn the car off. You tell me when to turn the car on to show them the feature, okay? Yep, that sounds good to me. So, um, of course, with aerodynamics being such an important uh, aspect of modern cars, BMW had to play along. And check out the kidney grills on this BMW. They're closed right now, and then when you turn the engine on, <laughs> they open up for cooling, and then they close again when you turn the engine off. It's pretty phenomenal, and it, it does look quite nice. I really do like the exterior design on this car. I can't wait to see what the full-fledged M2 looks like. That's gonna be the ultimate track monster, um, but, Price-wise, you know, M2 starts at 37, this one starts at 49, and then this one's 57. Hey, hey, look who's there. Is that Alex Dykes is from that, Alex on Autos? Is that Alex on Autos? Hey, Alex. Yeah, what do you guys think of the purple one? Now, keep in mind, guys, driving impressions are embargoed, so please do not talk about driving impressions. Just talk about the uh, the eggplant color, huh? <laughs> By the way, if you're looking for a much more professional review, one that actually gives you the stats and actually compares this to the uh, base car, head on over to Alex on Autos, right? When are you putting your video up, Alex? Uh, that's a good question. Probably embargo <laughs> release date, which is? Uh, November 16th, is that right? Could be. That could, could be? be right. Yeah. That could be right. Hey, Alex, what's the wheelbase? Oh, oh, off the top of your head. It's two inches longer than it was last year. There you go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's always a good thing. That's, that's what we hear. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you have it. We're going to put up a full drive video when the embargo lifts. Uh, as always, this is Roman. Behind the camera is Tommy. And over here is our man, Alex Anato, saying thanks for watching. Remember, you saw it first. Where, Tommy? On the Fastlane car. Alex Anato. Alex Anato. <laughs> exactly. Bye. Time, ciao.